Well, the doctor is in with some surprising news about onions and garlic, as researchers find that they, along with a few other ingredients, might be able to kill MRSA, the superbug that is resistant to conventional antibiotics. Joining us now, Dr. Mark Siegel, Fox News Medical A-Team member and professor of medic uh, medicine at NYU's Langone Medical Center. Were you as surprised as I was by this research? The, the doctors, apparently, the researchers, went back to a 10th century Sort of a sort of a medical text, you know, as good as it was the book. time. Called right. the leech book. The leech book, when they're using leeches uh, to bleed people. I, I mean, was very surprised by this and very excited about it because the problem with superbugs, like methicillin resistant staph, is that we don't have a lot of treatments for it and we're creating more and more of it john by not using disinfectants in hospitals properly by overusing antibiotics and cause the drug companies don't have incentives for making new antibiotics so we gotta look somewhere and i like the idea of of researchers looking back in time and saying hey why do they keep talking about this stuff as effective against bacteria well what is it onion garlic a certain wine that they get in an old place in England and ox gall which comes from the bile ducts of cows of oxen and together all of these have certain activity against bacteria together it was effective 90 percent I don't know if it'll work in actual patients but it's on the way it's working in tissue culture they have tried it yeah and in, in laboratory samples would they would they go back I mean what they would have to find which of those ingredients um, is actually the, the chief actor, or is it that they're all working together in combination? It's the, it's the latter. All of them separately have a little bit of action. Together, they have a lot of action, 90%. They have a certain formula for doing it. You've got to wait nine days on the ox gall. You've got to chill it properly. It's quite a recipe. And I'm, I'm all for trying it in people now, by the way. What do you have to lose? Yeah. That uh, MRSA is a, a very scary and, and often deadly uh, infection. Uh, let's talk about something else. The, the actual study, even though it appears in the, the Journal of American Medical Association's April Fool's edition, <laughs> looks at the old saying about an apple a day keeping the doctor away. It tests the old avid, adage. So what does it reveal? Uh, it, it turns out that people who eat an apple a day aren't necessarily any healthier. Well, Jamie Colby knows from Sunday House Call that I'm a big fan of an apple a day. And okay. I think that apple gives you fiber, and I think it helps your digestion, and I think it's much better at keeping your weight down and preventing diabetes. So I'm for it. I think that it's the key is to take fruit, to eat a fruit a day of some kind. With an apple, it gives you plenty of fiber. It gives you vitamins like vitamin C. You don't have to have an apple. You have to have some kind of fruit. Now, the thing with the study, and this is very important because we talk about observational studies all the time. They're not proof because they actually found, John, that the issue may be that the people that ate apples smoked less. The people that ate apples were educated more. And by the way, the people that ate apples were in poorer groups. So that's interesting. Maybe maybe people that are better off, well, more well off, got to start eating apples. So it may not be the apple itself. It may be part of a healthier lifestyle. I, I should rephrase, I suppose, my statement, because they did find that people who eat an apple a day are healthier, but they found there are other reasons for for that health or there may be other reasons for that good health absolutely they also found that they were less likely to use prescription drugs i thought that was pretty interesting maybe they exercise eat an apple don't smoke and don't need as many medications that sounds like a benefit worth uh, worth having dr mark siegel of our medical a team thank you great to see you